Good morning, I'm Jitzel Puente with Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. The U.S. is seeing a mild flu season so far this year. According to the Centers for Disease Control, flu activity was minimal across 40 states and Washington, D.C. However, one child in Florida has died from the virus. The total number of lab-confirmed flu cases for the season stands at 447. In Oklahoma, 27 people have been taken to the hospital with the flu since September. Republican candidate for governor Kevin Stitt has, con uh, has contributed to his campaign more than $3.7 million. That's according to the Tulsa World. The Oklahoma Ethics Commission says Stitt's Democratic opponent, Drew Edmondson, has put in at least $60,000 of his own money to his campaign. Candidates are limited on how much they can give their campaigns as long as it's personal funds. President Trump confirmed the U.S. would pull out of a nuclear treaty with Russia. During a rally in Nevada yesterday, the president said Russia has violated the agreement for many years and is preventing the U.S. from developing new weapons. The nuclear pact has called for banning ground launch missiles within a specific range. The treaty dates back to the Reagan administration. Now let's take a look at today's forecast with meteorologist Brandon Woolley. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, Jitzel, and good morning, everyone. Those high temperatures today easily into the 60s, 66 in Bartlesville, 67 in Oak Mulkey, and really close to 70 in Bristow. 66 in T-Town, gorgeous looking sunny skies, light south winds between about 5 and 10 miles per hour, and those morning lows by tomorrow morning, not as cold for the most part in the low to the mid 40s. Your latest seven day forecast over the next couple of days, some increasing clouds, highs into the upper 60s with a chance for light showers on Wednesday and then close to 70 on Friday.